Connecting the ESP32 board. Connect the USB-C end of the cable to the USB-C port on the ESP32 board from Sparky Crafts. Take the USB-A end of the cable and plug it into an available USB-A port on your computer. Driver installation. After connecting the cable, there should be a new COM port available in your computer's device manager. Check if the CP2102 driver is available on your computer. If there is a new COM port, you can proceed with installing WLED directly. If not, install the driver first. Various versions of the CP2102 driver are available on the website. Select one according to your computer's operating system. Installing WLED, there are stable and beta versions of WLED. The beta version usually has more features worth trying. For example, you can install version 0.150B2. Ensure you check the Audio Reactive button. When clicking the Install button, hold the Boot button on the ESP32 board. Once the installation process begins, you can release the button. Wi-Fi Configuration After installation, you can configure the Wi-Fi settings or leave them as default to use the device in AP mode. In the Wi-Fi settings, you can give your board a name for easier access. For instance, name the device DellEd07, so you can access it by typing slash led07.local in your browser. LED Preferences. In the LED Preferences setting, set the current and select the LED lights type. For example, set the current to 2800 and LED lights type to s 281 x Ensure the LED control GPIO is set to 16 and IR remote control GPIO is set to 4. Select the IR remote controller type according to your device. LED matrix panel configuration. 
WellEd supports addressable LED strips and 2D LED matrix panels. If you have a 2D LED matrix panel, configure the 2D configuration page. For instance, use a WS2812 32x8 LED matrix panel. Audio reactive function. Set the audio reactive function in the user mode page. Ensure the audio reactive enabled button is checked and leave the digital mic setting as default. Final steps. After configuring, connect your LED lights to the ESP32 board through the three pin JST connector and power on the board again. Then enjoy using Glad. Thank you.